the manager of the club, Richard, he he calls me up and he says, hey, listen, man, I know you got your show this Tuesday. Um, there's somebody that called up and they want to do a guest spot on your show. Is that OK? Or is your show booked? And I go, anything for you, man? I, yeah, I'll do a guest. No problem. He goes, listen, here's the thing, though. This person who's uh, the guest, they want to go on um, after you. And I go, I go, OK, well, who is it? Yeah. Uh, I, I can't say. They, they told me not to say because they just want to keep it private. I go, well, Richard, you know, it's if it's my show, <laughs> no one goes on. If there, whatever name is on the ticket or the marquee, that's who goes on last. Yeah. That's just how it goes. Yeah. I go, so if I'm going to say, OK, I at least need to know who this person is. And he goes, I cannot tell you. And I go, Richard, I'm not I'm not I'm not 12 years old. Just tell me who it is. I'll keep my mouth shut. It doesn't matter. And he goes, all you need to know is that if you ever have a secret, know now I can keep it. I'm like, what kind of high school? Kid is that? <laughs> so I said, you know what, Richard? OK, fine. I, not, you, you've piqued my interest. OK, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> it better be good. So I go uh, Comedy Magic Club and, uh, you know, I, I go up on stage. I'm doing my thing and I get handed a note. I get handed a note. And when I open it, it says, Please bring up Robin Williams. Oh, God. my. I just got, I literally Richard have goosebumps. Right. You, can, you can zoom in on my hand, right? Or my arm. That's fucking crazy. So, and that's crazy. Robin came out and, you know, I, when, I, I told, when, I, when, I told, when I told the crowd, I go, I go, hey, guys, uh, I need to get off the stage. And the crowd started going, no, boo, no, no, no. Hey. I go, listen, you guys, uh, I'm going to bring somebody out. And as soon as I bring this person out, you're, you're going to be like, uh, Fluffy who? <laughs> and they're like, no, no, no. I go, watch and then i said it I go, ladies and gentlemen please help me welcome to the stage you know and i said it i said his name and the crowd was like the crowd didn't even react because they did not believe of course not they didn't believe he was so, there it's so random you know and then uh he was standing behind me and i didn't know he was behind me and the crowd couldn't see him because you know shit uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> he eclipsed nano nano so i turn and then he's right behind me right and i was like oh my god and he, he gave me a quick hug and he goes, you were funny. And I was just like, that's all I needed to hear. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. And so I went and I, I, I watched the show right from the, 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 the curtain. I watched him right there, like from here to the camera. And it was just like, yeah, as soon as the crowd saw him, they're like, yeah, fuck Fluffy. Uh, we, don't, we don't care. <laughs> well, I, mean, dude, I mean, bro, like he, he went on. That's and, Michael. That's Michael Jordan. That's that's, that's Michael Jordan. That's no, no. That's Michael There's Jordan. No LeBron. That's everybody. everybody. That's Robin fucking Williams. The greatest of all time. Right. What? What? How long before he passed was months? That? Oh my gosh. Hey. So I met him that one time. As soon as uh, he got off the stage, I was waiting right there, by, you know, by the door. And I was like, hey, you know, oh, yeah. And I took a picture with him and his, his handler, whoever was there with him, Robin, we got to go. They wanted to beat the rush of, of the crowd out so they can get jump in the car and take off. Uh, yeah, that was my only moment with him, but uh, I'll never forget it. And there's, there's a picture of it. Was he one of your comic, comic yes. heroes? Yes, huge. That had it was, so it cool. was Eddie Murphy, Robin Williams, Murphy. and uh, there was another, but he somebody. So uh, I can't. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he, he now, you, zero. now you got now you got two, uh, Robin Williams and Eddie Murphy. That's it, I guess. It's funny to have it full circle back to the conversation we had about uh, mental health. I mean, you look at somebody like that who is the epitome of making people happy in life. You know, somebody that was able to make billions of people the the most world renowned right actor, whether it was with, with comedy or, or or film, and who is who is another man, another male person you know comedian struggling with severe mental illness and, mm -hmm. and unfortunately was unable to get it under control and you know i mean talk about losses for for massive the you know maybe the biggest ever in terms of good comedy you know so that's 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 why people still feel it like yeah. there's still oh yeah you know more specials coming out about everything and it's just like yeah we're, we're not getting over this one it's 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 still very sad. Mm -hmm. It's still very sad because if you once again not to to continue going back to the age thing, but if you're in your 30s, his movies, his stand up, his touch that existed on you as a person, as a as a fan of him, was a little bit beyond what we've seen since. He he had a way to touch your heart. I was gonna say, I was gonna say it's um when the when when people like Robin Williams are alive and there's not many people like Robin Williams that have the um, amount of impact that he had you can feel the f the fact that this this human is eternal right and so when you lose them it just hits different hey there if you like the clip make sure to subscribe or check out this recommended clip to my right